by observation and modeling and simulation, we were able to first understand how maple seeds fly. Because it's rotating, they are very nicely balanced. So the maple seed is inherently stable. We mimic that design using plastic and we augment it with power and control. Nature has controlled these over years and established a way to balance them properly so that a maple seed can actually fly. In a sense, we mimic a rotor disc from a helicopter. An electric motor pulls and gets it spinning. The motor is what makes us go, and the flap on the back, along with some sophisticated software, is what helps it go in a particular direction. It's inherently stable, just like a maple seed, only we put a motor on it so it goes up instead of going down. By controlling both the power and that flap, we can move the aircraft up, down, left, right, forward, and back. We use the tablet to control the, the vehicle. Controlling the vehicle is really simple. There's buttons for forward and back and to make it turn. So there are guiders and control algorithms taking place behind the scene, translating your button push to an exact command on the flap, as well as on the thrust that spins the vehicle around. This is our camera that's mounted on the hub. Everything on this vehicle rotates all the time. The camera's spinning between six and 900 revolutions per minute, but the operator sees a video that's very similar to what he would see with a stationary camera. The way we get a static image out of that is to synchronize the speed of the camera with how fast the vehicle is spinning. We use some sophisticated image processing techniques to remove the blur from the picture. When the user looks at the video that comes from Samurai, he sees it as just a normal video. Our design approach has been to size each vehicle around the mission. Some missions require you to carry heavier payloads. In other missions, it's more important to be able to carry the vehicle itself around and deploy it easily. So we have a number of ways that we can launch this vehicle. Normally, we launch it off the ground, just like a helicopter would take off. We also have what we call the Statue of Liberty launch, where we can just hold it like this and spin it up, and it takes off. We've also got what we call a hand launch or a boomerang launch, where we'll spin up the throttle and then just give it a little bit of a flick, and it takes off on its own. If you have a hostage situation, the law enforcement officers can toss out a few of these vehicles and have it enter the building and paint a picture of what that situation looks like before you send the SWAT team in. So as we scale the vehicle smaller in sizes, we begin to get close to the limit of existing knowledge of the aerodynamics of this type of vehicles. We get to do things that haven't been done before. As we continue to mature the technology, we actually get the ability to make them smaller. We're going to build systems that we couldn't even fathom 20 years ago.